Say hi. Hi. Good morning, everyone. We are back. I'm Andrea. This is Willow. And River is here. We are reading to him, but he's sick, so he's going to lay down and listen to Willow and me read. And we are going to say a prayer first. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the blessings that you give to us and to our families. We thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross and for your finished work at Calvary. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. And we thank you for allowing him to work within us and just to help us perform your will. We ask that you would move within us and help us to, to do the things that you would want us to do. And we also just ask for understanding as we read your word and for other people as well. We pray for all of the children of the world and we just ask that you would wrap your arms around them and have them know that you are with them always. We pray for my children always, that they're with somebody who loves Jesus and that they always turn to Jesus for everything that they need. And we just pray that the spirit of infirmity would flee from this household. Everyone that's sick and dealing with different things, just that they would be healed. We know that you're capable of it. We know that it's your will. You don't want anyone to be sick and suffering. And we thank you in advance. And again, we thank you for everything that you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Willow's going to start reading today, and we're starting with Sin Enters the World. God had put Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden to take care of it, but trouble soon appeared in the form of a clever animal called a A serpent. Now the now the spirit serpent was the, the trickiest of all the animals on earth. The serpent asked asked Eve, "Did God really say that you must not eat from any tree in the garden?" Eve answers. Eve answer, answered, We may eat the fruit from any tree in the garden except the tree in the middle of it. it. God told us to not eat from it or even touch it, but if, if we do, we will die. But the serpent said that's not that's not true you won't die god just said that because he knows that when you eat it you will be like him knowing good and evil then eve thought how good the food of the tree looked and how wonderful it would be be to be to be as wise God as God. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. She gave some to Adam. He ate it too. As soon they hadn't eaten it. But they both understood for the first time that they were naked. So they sewed sewed some fig fig leaves together to make coverages for their bodies. Do you want to keep reading or do you want me to go? That evening, when they heard the Lord God walking in the garden, they hid among the trees. Adam finally told God that they had hidden because they were naked and afraid. Adam confessed he had eaten the forbidden fruit, but he blamed it on his wife Eve. Eve put the blame on the serpent. She said the serpent had tricked her into eating it. 
Then God said to the serpent, As punishment, from now on you will have to crawl on your belly in the dust, and your kind will be the enemies of people forever. Next God spoke to the woman, You will have great pain when you give birth to your children. He said, Even so, you will still want your husband, and he will have control over you. To Adam, God said, You will have to work hard and sweat to make the ground produce enough food. You will work until you die. You were made from the dust of the ground, and you will become dust again. God made Adam and Eve leave the garden. He put guards there so that no one could eat from the tree of life and live forever. All this trouble happened because of sin, and more trouble lay ahead. Do you understand that? He kicked him out of the garden. But that's right, right? God only told them one thing, and they didn't do it. Now we're on Cain and Abel. Because of their sin, Adam and Eve could no longer live in the Garden of Eden. The sin they had brought into the world would cause even more trouble later. Adam and Eve had two sons. They named the first one Cain, the second one Abel, as time passed, the boys grew up able, became a shepherd. His older brother, Cain, became a farmer. One day, the two sons brought gifts to the Lord. Gifts for God are often called sacrifices or offerings. Ken's offering was something he had grown in the fields, and Abel was a little lamb. Mm -hmm. The Lord was pleased with Abel's offering, but he was not pleased with the offering which Cam brought. This made Ken very angry. It's not good, right? Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so angry? If you had done the right thing, I would have been pleased with you too. Sin is trying to get the best of you, so watch out. But Cain paid no attention to the Lord's warning. One day while Cain and Abel were out in the fields, Cain attacked Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? How should I know? Cain replied angrily. Am I supposed to be taking care of my brother? But the Lord said, Cain, I know you have murdered your brother. Because of that, you will not be able to get the ground to grow anything. You will be a homeless wanderer. Cain cried, This punishment is too much. I won't be able to stand it. I have to go away from this land and from you, and whoever sees me will kill me. So then the Lord put a mark on Cain, so no one would kill him. Then Cain went away and lived in the land of Nod, which means wandering. Thus Cain was punished for his sin. Do you understand that? We're done reading, sweetie. Good job, honey. I know you don't feel good. So, Cain killed his brother. And that was, the, that was the second sin, because the first sin was when Eve ate the apple, right? But then the second sin was when Cain killed Abel. And we'll keep learning. There's more stuff that comes, but that's why... You know, the sacrifices and the offerings that he brought, how one brought the lamb and one brought the, the vegetables and fruits. Now, because Jesus came and he sacrificed himself, we don't have to give the Lord sacrifices anymore. All we have to do is talk to Jesus and ask Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Are you tired? Should we say bye to everyone? Bye. Bye.
We love you. We hope you have a great day and a great week.